The flying saucer, a 20th century mystery, cannot be ignored. The strange disks have been reported by Hun sober Americans since 1947. Just what did these people see? Man has dreamt of flight, of conquering gravity from ancient times to the present. In imagination, he has traveled the skies in fantastic machines. Fifty years ago, this flying saucer was an illustration for H.G. Wells' War of the World. Are the flying saucers things of fantasy? Some say they're natural objects, meteors or bright stars transformed by imagination into disks of mystery. Others say the saucers are weather balloons, common enough in the sky and easily mistaken for a disk. These theories were checked when the armed forces investigated the flying saucers. Admiral Calvin Bolster of the Navy's Bureau of Aeronautics gives his conclusion. The these balloons might explain isolated cases of circular-shaped, unidentified objects flying at altitudes, uh, extreme altitudes, that have been reported. However, I do not feel that these balloons explain the majority of the so-called flying saucer sightings that have appeared in the press. mission to the planet Earth. As usual, you will take a flying disk. You will take off from this point and land approximately here. Then it is. From this point, it's Mars. I've here. tuned in Mars. Where your mission hey, Steve, begins. come here, quick, look. Now, the reason for this special mission is this. For some time now, we in the Interplanetary Intelligence Department have been greatly concerned over the tremendous scientific discoveries and advancements of the Earth people. 
That's true. They now know about the atom, and they Next know... thing we know, they will be sending explorers to invade us here on Mars. But they don't have the flying disc. How could they? With rockets. They do have rockets. That's right. I'd forgotten about the rockets. We don't dare forget anything or overlook any possibility. But what if the Earth people did come? We visit them occasionally, although they don't know that we do. That's different. We don't try to change their habits. But can you imagine what would happen on Mars if the Earth people came up? First thing you know, they'd have us chewing gum, reading comic magazines. Our airwaves would be full of soap operas, bebop music, and our super television sets would carry advertising commercials in color. No. <laughs>
people saw something, something not a balloon, not a meteor, not a hallucination. Reliable witnesses have sighted them over nearly every major city, along our air lanes, over secret research areas. In True Magazine, Commander Robert McLaughlin, a Navy guided missiles expert, told of flying saucers detected by radar over White Sands, New Mexico. Scientists were trying a rocket, suddenly detected a saucer at 56 miles altitude. Over 100 feet in diameter, the disk was traveling at 1,800 miles per hour, rapidly outranged their instruments. But there had been time for precise, accurate measurements. Says McLaughlin, that saucer could not have been made on Earth. 